Hey guys! So today I am doing a Emma Watson kind of red carpet makeup look for you. Um, I, well obviously I did my Emma Watson Hermione Granger makeup tutorial. Uh, that was my first video on YouTube and that was way over two years ago and it's done really really well. Uh, that was a natural kind of everyday look and I've seen, I love Emma Watson, I think I am in love with her. Um, and I've seen so many pictures of her on the red carpet in the last six months, the last year, um, and she always looks so glamorous and so beautiful and not really overdone. I think this is the kind of look which you could easily get away with just for an evening. It's it's kind of a really appropriate look for like dinner in the evening, going out in the evening, something, and I just always think she looks sophisticated and beautiful. So um, I really hope you like this and I'll get on with the tutorial. Okay, the first thing I'm using is my Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum Foundation, and I'm just buffing this into my skin using my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush, and as always, I start in the centre of my face. This foundation gives a medium coverage with quite a natural finish, which is what I want for this look, because Emma Watson never really has a really heavy coverage. It's always very natural, but she doesn't seem to have any imperfections, and I just wanted a nice, natural finish. The next thing I'm using is my Collection 2000 Lasting Perfection Concealer and I'm just putting this under my eyes to cover out all my dark circles. You can never really see any of Emma Watson's dark circles or anything, um, she always looks quite flawless and then I'm just putting it on any areas of redness on my face and then just buffing that in with my finger or smoothing it in with my finger to melt it into my skin and make it look really natural. Now I'm using my Collection 2000 Sheer Loose Powder and I'm just placing this all over my face just to get rid of the shine I have because it was quite hot when I was filming and my moisturiser can look a bit shiny so you can put on as much powder as you need to give a kind of natural to matte finish. Now I'm using my Ted Baker Beauty Bronzer and the first thing I'm doing is just putting this in my cheekbones to kind of contour my face ever so slightly. Not heavily but you can see Emma Watson's cheekbones, um, they look a little bit defined. So I'm just placing that in the hollows of my cheekbones and then sweeping it across my face and down my neck to just, give, to just warm my skin up a little bit. Now I'm using my Bourjois Potted Blush in the colour 48, which is a really lovely natural colour. And I'm just putting this on the apples of my cheeks and sweeping up to my cheekbones. Emma Watson always seems to have a really natural looking blush um, that just warms up her skin and makes her look gorgeous. Now I'm using my Soap and Glory Glow All Out highlighter because Emma Watson always seems to be wearing a highlighter on top of her cheeks at events. And so I'm just placing this on top of my cheeks and then I'm also placing it in a few other areas on my face just to highlight a few different bits so my face doesn't look so matte. Now I'm using my sleek brow kit and as we all know Emma Watson's eyebrows are the most important part of her look. They're dark and quite thick and they're also quite flat which is good for me because I naturally have really quite flat brows with not much of an arch. So I'm just placing the wax side of the product through my eyebrows to darken them and to get them into shape. So you can just follow the natural look of your brow, trying not to put too much of an arch into it, just trying to darken and thicken out your brows. Now I'm using the powder side of the product to darken them even more, um, just putting this through and I also, when I have the powder side, like to extend my brows slightly as Emma Watson has quite lengthened eyebrows so you just want to keep working on your eyebrows until you are happy with them they are kind of the most Emma Watson part of this look now I'm using my MAC paint pot in bear study to give a really kind of light uh, colored base to this look because in the inner corner Emma Watson always seems to have a light color but this will also make any eyeshadow put on stay a lot better on her eyes my eyes <laughs> Now I'm using my Urban Decay Naked Palette and I'm using the colour Buck because Emma Watson always just seems to have a natural wash of colour over her um, eyes. Normally a light brown colour but it's just a really natural wash so I'm just putting this on the outer two thirds of my eyelid leaving the inner corner just with the paint pot on. Now I'm using Max Quarry and I'm just putting this on my Real Technique Essential Crease Brush and blending this through my crease. Emma Watson always seems to be wearing something very light in her crease just to define her eyes slightly and this is such a natural kind of light taupe colour that will really naturally define your eyes. So that's it for the eyeshadow and now I'm using my Rimmel Scandalize Eyeliner 
and I am doing my tight line, which as you can kind of see from this footage, I hate doing. I'm really not a fan of doing my tight line, but you want to do your tight line just to thicken your lash line slightly because Emma Watson's lashes are kind of the main feature of her eye look. Her eyeshadow is quite basic. So you just want to thicken up your lash line by tight lining. And now I'm taking the same thing and putting it underneath my eyes to give a very subtle line underneath your eyes you don't want anything really heavy it's never a thick black line and I'm also putting it ever so slightly in my waterline nothing really heavy just to darken it up ever so slightly now I'm using my collection fast stroke eyeliner which is my favorite liquid eyeliner and for this you want to really really carefully create the thinnest line you can um, there's never the eyeliner isn't a big feature but you can see that she is wearing something on top of her eyelids that isn't really blended so I didn't think it was eyeshadow so I went for a very thin line of eyeliner so you want to be really careful with this stick very close to the lash line and go slowly um, there's no flick on it so just stop it when you get to the edge of the eye and yeah I only have footage of me doing this to one eye because I messed up the other eye I had to go off camera take it off and do it again so just a very thin line of eyeliner now I'm just curling my lashes and I'm using my L'Oreal Million, Million something lashes, Excess Million lashes. I'll put it in the description. I've forgotten the name of it. And you just want to put loads of this on. Emma Watson's eyelashes always look really amazing, but she never looks like she's wearing false ones. So I think she just does quite a lot of mascara. So you want to put two coats of mascara on your top lashes to really make them nice and big. And one coat on your bottom lashes, quite defining your bottom lashes because um, they are always also quite well done. Now I'm using my Makeup Professional Lip Liner and this is just in pink and I'm just outlining my lips because Emma Watson always seems to have really quite defined lips, it's quite a sharp lip line and I have naturally quite a blurry lip line so I just thought I would use a lip liner. Now I'm using my Topshop lipstick in the colour Really Ruby. Emma Watson's at events always seems to be wearing a bright pink or a bright red or a bright orangey pink. So I went for a bright pink, kind of like her graduation lipstick. And you don't want a really shiny consistency, just a matte or normal consistency and just whack this on your lips. Okay guys, so that is the end of my Emma Watson red carpet inspired makeup tutorial. I really hope you like this and that you try it out. And remember to tweet me pictures if you do try it out because loads of you say you like try it out and then you never send me pictures and I want to see pictures if you try it out. Um, all my social media links will be in the description along with all the products and things like that. Um, I really hope you did like this video. Give it a like if you did like and subscribe to see more from me and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.